Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bud Cardio Strength Pyramid Training. And today what we're going to do, you might remember if you were with me last week, we did a ladder workout. So we took um, a series of exercises and we did them 30 seconds, 45, 60, 75 seconds. I think we even went up to 90 seconds and we climbed the ladder and increased in our um, intensity and duration of the exercises. Today we have a pyramid. So we will shape our pyramid like this, and we'll start with 30 seconds, 45, 60, 75 seconds of the exercise will be the peak, and then we're gonna come back down the other side, 60 seconds, 45, down to 30. So we'll hit the peak of our workout right in the center of the training. And that doesn't mean that I want you to, you know, feel like you're working easier down the back side because that's when we're going to start to feel a little tired and a little fatigued. So even though the time is decreasing, I still want you to push it hard during those intervals. What I have is six exercises. Two of them are cardio based where there'll be no weights. We're going to be doing a um, series of calisthenics and moving. Two of them will be strength training based, and I have heavier hand weights today. I have my eights. So if you've got something a little on the heavier side, we're going to be doing compound strength training exercises. But of course, whatever you have at home is going to be absolutely fine for you. And then the last two are core based. So what I want to do in the warm up is show you these exercises. We'll be moving around. You'll be doing it at your own pace. I'll be showing you options for those so that you can say, okay, here's what I'm going to do for this exercise. Here's the modification or the option that I'm going to take. And then once we get into the workout, you're going to rock and roll with that and have them. So I'm going to start our music here. And our first exercise is a cardiovascular based exercise. All right. So what we've got is two steps to the right and two little reaches up. So we're going to go one, two, up, up. And then we'll do it the other way. One, two, up, up. So our low version is two steps grounded, two reaches. Two steps grounded, two reaches. Now if you want to make this more vivacious, make this a grapevine two reaches. So we step cross back and two reaches. And then you know where I'm going from here, right? Your last intensity option is to make those reaches little hops or jumps. Two steps, jump, jump. Good. So let's do it a couple more times each direction because I want you to find the one that's going to work for you and make this your workout. You can go at any speed. Last one side to side. Great. And relax. Okay, next exercise is spring training based. If you want, you can pick up your weights or just run through it without the weights. This is a dead row, so we have our hand weights. We're going to flex at the hips, pull the weights back, straighten our arms, and stand up. Knees. Pull, straighten, and up. So this is a compound exercise. It works our hamstrings and glutes as we hinge forward. Works our biceps and the backs of the shoulders and the upper back as we retract those shoulder blades back for the exercise. So let's do four more, just warming up. And this can be done with fairly heavy weight. I have a barbell as well that I might throw in there. Great, let's do one more dead row. Knees, pull, knees, and stand up. Exercise number three comes back to a cardiovascular based exercise. I want you to put your guard up here. We're going to lunge back right, left, and then punch, punch. It's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now, if you don't want to do a big deep lunge, then you can do a small lunge. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch, lunge, lunge, punch, punch. 
So you can make this more about legs or just keep it more about cardio and moving quickly in your body. So let's do a few more on each side. Maybe three more. I feel my heart rate coming up already. Two more. Punch, punch, and one more. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch. All right, rest. Next strength training exercise is called the clean and press. We've done it a lot of time in Lisa Bug classes. You can go over it with no weights if you want. So we're going to do a bicep curl as we sit into a squat. Press above the head. Come back down and release. Squat, push. Squat, release. And again, this is a nice compound exercise. So we're working our legs, our quads, our glutes, our triceps and shoulders. The core is nice and tight. Now, if you don't want to press above the head, you're going to leave that piece out and you're just going to do your bicep curls. Absolutely fine here. Let's do three more. Good, two more. And one more time. And relax. Next exercise is core base. Now we've been working on planks the last month. So your option is to take any form of a plank you want. You can be from the toes, from the knees, from the elbows. Next option is to do a mountain climber. Come in, come in. And then our last option is to do spinal balance. Reach, reach. So all of these work our core, excellent. So you've got spinal balance, you've got mountain climbers, you have holding planks in any position you wanna do. So there's a lot of options there. Pick the one that works best for you. Okay, our last exercise is the crab kick. So again, I'm gonna give you lots of, it, of options with crab kick. First option, you're just gonna bring your hands here and do an elbow to knee coming across. Next option, reach the hand across to the foot, working our core. Final option, you're up off your seat, so you're in a little bit of a bridge. That's our crab, and reach it out. You can also do this one without lifting your hand off the floor. You wanna do it here, because this requires a lot of stabilization and balance. All right, you guys ready to go? Those are the exercises. Our first time through is 30 seconds a piece. So maybe grab a quick swig of water just to get us ready to go. Okay, first exercise. Two steps, two reaches or two jumps. You can make that a grapevine. Get ready in five, four, three, two, go. Two steps, two jumps, or just lift up on those toes. Two steps, reach, reach. Good job, guys. So it's only 30 seconds. I want you to really push it. Start to get that heart rate up. 10 seconds. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, grab your weights. It is the dead row. 30 seconds. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, go. Knees, pull, and up. Knees, pull, and up. So this first round through, we're getting used to these exercises, what it feels like in our body, what we want to do for modifications, 10 seconds to go. Squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Good job. Three, two, one, rest. Weights are down. Okay, cardio exercise. Guard is up. Two lunges back, two punches across. In four, three, 
two, go. Lunge, lunge, quick, quick punch. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch. So speed it up on the punches. Nice and strong. Now you don't have to do that deep lunge. You can be up here and punch, punch. Good. 10 seconds, guys. Breathing, breathing. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Pick up your weights. We've got the clean and press for 30 seconds. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Go. Squat. Push and release. Squat. Push. Now remember, you can leave the push out and just do the squat with the bicep curls. But I want you working upper and lower body. Nice compound exercise. Woo, 10 seconds, you guys got this. Good job. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, do you know what you're gonna do for your plank options? Maybe spinal balance, maybe mountain climber. Come on down, get ready. In five, four, three, two, start. So I've got spinal balance on this first round. I'm lifting up an opposite arm and leg. You can do that mountain climber. Absolutely, you can hold a plank wherever you want to, nice and steady. Woo. Really engage your core. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Have a seat. Crab kick options. You can be up off your seat or seat down on the floor. Get ready. Three, two, and go. Reach, reach. You can do this sitting in a chair as well if you'd rather not come down to the mat. It's absolutely fine here. But getting up and down off the floor is a good exercise for us to do every single day. And maybe not use your hands, right? Standing up without the use of your hands. Ooh, 10 seconds, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, that is all six exercises. Quick drink of water. Next round, 45 seconds apiece. Now we've got these. Nice energy. Okay, two steps to the right, two reaches or jumps. In four, three, two, go. Two steps, up, up, 45 seconds. Looking good, guys. Now this is where I want you to get your heart rate up. Maybe try a jump or two for impact, for bone density. Woo. Nice job, nice job. We're just about halfway through. 20 seconds to go. You can step and cross back for that grapevine. And I want you using big arms if that feels comfortable for your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Pick up your hand weights. All right, we have the dead row. In position, in five, four, three, two, begin. Down, pull, and rise. Squeeze back, stand. Now notice I'm bending my knees a little bit as I come forward. So make sure you're not doing the dead row with straight legs. Little soft knees, nice neutral spine, and up. Good job, everybody. We're halfway through. 20 seconds to finish this one. Woo. Now what happens if you can't make it all the way through the round? You just take a break, however much you need, and you come back into the workout. Last five, four, three, two, stop. Weights down. 
Back into cardio. Guard is up. Two lunges back, two quick punches across. In five, four, three, two, go. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch, lunge, lunge, punch, punch. Take your options. If you don't want to lunge back, just tap back. Keep up that pace. Now strong arms on the punch. Jab and retract back. Keep that heart rate up. Woo! 20 seconds. Deeper you go into the lunges, the more you're working quads and glutes. Almost there. Last six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Grab those weights, clean and press for 45 seconds. Feet about hips distance apart. In five, four, three, two, begin. Squat, press, squat, release. Up, good job. Woo. Now the squat is not really deep on the clean and press. It's almost like a little acceleration with the legs. It's down, up. Looking good, looking good. 20 seconds to go. Nice, everybody. Exhale on that push. To the finish. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stop. Weights are down. Okay, take your plank option. This time I'm gonna take mountain climber. You can take spinal balance or hold a steady plank. In five, four, three, two, begin. Now, if you're doing mountain climber with me, you can go at any pace. You can bring your knees across to the opposite wrist to add a little bit of rotation. You can bounce it double time or take it nice and slow. We're halfway, 20 seconds. It's all about keeping a nice, strong core, breathing, staying steady. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. All right, have a seat for your crab kick. I'm going to take it up off the seat this time. Take your options. In five, four, three, two, go. Opposite reach across. Now I know if you have wrist issues, this option is not the best. There's a lot of pressure on your wrists. So you can sit down on your seat and do it without touching your wrist back to the floor. Absolutely great. We are halfway through. 20 seconds. This is our last exercise before the water break. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. All right, quick drink. Ooh. We're all the way up to the one minute mark. First exercise is our cardio. Two steps to the right, two reaches or two jumps. In five, four, three, two, go. 60 seconds. Good work. Now as each one gets longer, we're building up to that peak. So you might have to pace yourself a little bit more. Woo! Hey, David, are you with me? Oh, wow. I didn't expect to see you live this morning. I see your little icon up there. All right. Keep breathing, keep breathing. We're halfway through. Up, up, reaching, up, maybe jumping. Woo! 
And up. 15 seconds. I can't see everybody's icon, but I see hands with me. Joyce is with me. Judith, Liz, Sherry, Tom. Five, four, three, two, rest. Pick up your hand weights. If I missed you and I don't see you, thanks for being here today. All right, dead row. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, go. Knees, squeeze, knees, up, knees, squeeze, and up. Now I want you to do each one of these mindfully with really good alignment. Try not to rush. It's not about getting as many as you can when we're strength training. It's about control, coordination, good alignment, good form. 30 seconds to go. Squeeze back. Now you can change the position of your hands and you can pull your elbows up to the side as well. So you can go knees, pull up. More like an upright row in a bent over position. Good. Nice variety. Last five, four, three, two, one, rest. Weights are down. Okay, next exercise. Guard is up. Two lunges, two punches across. In five, four, three, two, go. Lunge, lunge. Punch, punch, slow, slow, quick, quick. Good, speed it up on those punches. I want you to find some power here. Woo. Now remember your option is just to stay up, small taps back, and punch across. Good, keep up that energy, breathe. You are at the halfway mark in this one. We have 30 seconds to go. Nice strong punches. Guard is up right in front of your chin. <sighs> Breathe. Last 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and stop. Grab your weights, clean and press. One minute. I'm giving us 15 seconds setup time, but you can start at any time you want. Five, four, three, two, go. Squat press, release down. Squat press, good job. Use those legs. That's gonna drive your heart rate up, keeping that cardio in place. Ooh. Nice job. Ooh. Press and down. Press. You can go slower. Really take your time. Absolutely. 30 seconds to go. Breathing. Nice job. Ooh, 20 seconds. Starting to feel that fatigue as we're working for a minute here with this exercise. 10 seconds. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights are down. Okay, plank option. Mountain climber. Spinal balance. This time I'm gonna hold a plank for 60 seconds in three, two, one. So I'm just gonna hold a steady plank. It's a great option here, but I want you to add any variations you want to today. If you're holding a steady plank, think about engaging your legs, your glutes, bracing your abs, stabilizing your shoulders, keeping your head neutral. And letting the breath move. Try not to hold your breath. Halfway, 30 seconds. Woo! Nice and strong, nice and strong. If you need to take a break, you can set your knees down. Take a quick child's pose. 
Then come back into the work. 15 seconds. Woo! 10. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, roll over onto your seat. We have our crab kick up off the glutes or sitting on the mat. Take your option in four, three, two, one. It's a rotation. Now, if you want to lay on your back, you could certainly do bicycles. If that feels better for you than sitting on your seat, absolutely. Whatever you can do for 60 seconds to work the abs, the obliques. Good job, good job. So we're putting gravity in a different spot than when we were in our plank. Works the core differently. Under 30 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Woo. Reach. I am feeling my abs burning. 15 seconds to finish this out. Stay strong with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. All right, it's time for a drink. Ah. Oh. Okay, guess what, guys? The next one is the peak of the workout. 75 seconds for each exercise, then we're going to drop back down the back side. Okay, this is the long one. Getting ready for your cardio. Two steps to the right, two reaches or jumps. You can make it a grapevine in five, four, three, two, go. Two steps, reach or jump. One minute, 15 seconds. Good job. Now, since this is cardio, you can pick up your pace. You can go faster. Because it's about your heart rate. You don't have to worry about swinging weights because we're not holding on to them. So you can speed it up. That's 30 seconds. We have 45 to go. Woo! Ah, this feels so good to move, to get that heart rate up, to burn some calories. <sighs> nice job. 30 seconds, everybody. Try a jump with me, just a little hop. Try it. So good for your bones. Good for your core. Steady through your axis. 15 seconds remaining. Woo! Up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stop. Pick up those hand weights. We have a dead row. Ah, in five, four, three, two, go. Knees, pull, knees up. 75 seconds. Now, I don't know how you, well, you can hear the music tempo in the background because it usually doesn't come in too clear, but this tempo is pretty good for this exercise. It's at about 130 RPMs or beats per minute, not RPMs, beats per minute, BPMs. You're at 30 seconds, we have 45 to go. But that being said, I still want you to go at your own pace. You don't have to follow me. Make it comfortable for you. Activate your abs as you hinge forward. Make sure you're not rounding your back. I don't want to see it look like this. Keep your back nice and neutral. 15 seconds, guys. Pull it up. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Weights down. Okay, cardiovascular. Guard is up, two lunges back, two quick punches across. In five, four, three, two, 
go. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch. Good. Take your options on the lunge. If that bothers your toes, you don't have to really flex your foot a lot. You can just tap the toe back, but keep up the intensity. Good. Lunge. Two punches. Woo. All right, 45 seconds to go. I'm really feeling the peak of this workout as we're reaching the top of the pyramid here. Our intensity is peaking. 30 seconds. Good job, good job. Heart rate is up. You should be in your training zone. Nice. Back. We have 15 seconds. Let's push it hard to the finish here. Woo. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stop. Okay, we have our clean and press. So grab your hand weights. Getting ready in five, four, three, two, and begin. Press it up, release it down. Now remember your main option for this one is not pressing over the head. So you can be right in here. Absolutely fine. You can even set your weights down if you need to. Just keep moving through that 75 seconds. If you can. That's going to keep that heart rate up. 45 seconds to go. Woo. Looking good. Looking good. Ah. I hope you're working hard with me. Really getting up a sweat. 30 seconds. Stay strong. Nice. We're getting ready to go down to core in 15 seconds. We've got our plank variations coming up. So hopefully you know what you're going to do. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, coming down to your plank position. I'm gonna go back to spinal balance on this one. So from the hands and knees, I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, begin. So if you're doing spinal balance with me, make sure your back's not sagging. Your head is neutral position. Really working those abs. Remember, you also have mountain climbers, so you can be up here, pulling those knees in. You can hold the plank steady. That's a nice challenge for 75 seconds, to hold that plank. 45 seconds to go, peeps. Keep it coming. Woo! If this spinal balance hurts your wrist, come up on your knuckles. That helps. So your wrists aren't as flexed. 30 seconds to go. Breathing. This is our peak of this exercise. 20 seconds. Woo. Almost there to the finish. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and stop. Okay, roll over for crab kicks. Taking your options, seat on the floor or lifted, working those obliques. Five, four, three, two, go. Reach across, reach across. Now maybe you start up off your seat, do as many as you can. And then you can let your seat drop down to the mat to finish that 75 seconds. If you don't want to use your hands behind you, I'm going to rotate here. Good. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. This is the long one. 
This builds strength in your shoulders. If you're up off the seat, works your triceps, shoulder stability, your abs, your obliques. It also works your glutes if you're up off the seat because you're doing a bridge. A little bit of hamstring work. Nice job. We've got 20 seconds to go. I'm going to bring it down to my seat to finish. Stay strong. Stay strong. We've got a drink break coming up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and stop. Oh, wow. We just finished the peak of our workout. So let's grab some water. We're gonna come down the other side of the pyramid. Only 60 seconds each exercise on the next round. But it's not gonna feel easy. It's still gonna be a long minute. Okay, get yourself ready. Two steps to the right, two reaches or jumps. In five, four, three, two, go. Two steps. Two reaches or jumps. Good job. You can keep this basic. 60 seconds. Really reach it up. You're either using your calf muscles on your toe raises or jumping using your quads and glutes for power. A little bit of plyometric training. 30 seconds. Hup, hup. Nice, everybody. Up, up. 15. Strong to the finish. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right. Pick up your hand weights, dead row. Starting whenever you're ready, or I'll count you down. In five, four, three, two, begin. Knees, pull, knees, up. Now think about your abs here as you come forward. I want you to contract that Uddiyana Bandha we learn about in yoga. It's the abdominal lock, our transverse abdominus, supporting that low back, keeping the spine nice and protected. Halfway through, 30 seconds. Remember, you can change the plane of movement. You can bring it out here. Woo. Keep it coming. 15 seconds to go. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stop. Weights down. Cardiovascular. Two lunges back, two quick punches across. Five, four, three, two, and go. Lunge. Lunge, punch, punch, slower, then quick, quick. Good job, work those legs to keep the heart rate up. Nice, strong jabs across. Now when you jab across, you're working through your torso as well, so you're keeping all of this really tight. Good job, halfway, 30 seconds. Come on, people, let's keep going, let's keep going. Really rock it here. Woo. Nice. I know you're staying strong with me. And having a good time, having some fun on a Friday morning. What a great way to start out your weekend. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Wow. Okay, grab those weights for your clean and press. 60 seconds compound exercise. Get ready. In five, 
four, three, two, begin. Squat press, squat release. Curl, push, and down. Good job. Now sink your weight into your heels when you sit back. So you're really feeling a good squat here. Then drive up with those legs. Nice exhale, Whew, right there. Blow it out. 30 seconds to go. Woo. Feeling those triceps a little bit. Shoulders are working. Heart rate is staying up. Driving that cardio, long sustained. Looking for 15 seconds. And then we're moving into core work. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights are down. Plank variation. You choose what you'd like to do. Come down to that position. I'm going to do a forearm plank from my knee in five, four, three, two, one. Hold 60 seconds. Now these elbow planks, I, I don't know, it's interesting, but they've done some research and you're actually working harder in your abs when you're on your forearms. I can't explain why, but uh, it takes some of the muscle work out of your triceps and puts it into your core. So even if you don't have wrist problems, you can try some of these from the elbows. 30 seconds to go, you guys. I'm gonna pop up to my toes for the finish on this one for the last 20 seconds. Woo! Breathing, 15 seconds. Ah, looking good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Roll over for your crab kick options. Now you know what's gonna work best for you, which movement you're gonna take. I'm gonna to come to my back here and do some um, bicycles. Five, four, three, two, and go. This is okay. It's the same movement as when you're sitting up. It's a nice option here. Whatever you can do for that 60 seconds, I just want you to rock it out. Woo. After this exercise, we're down to 45 seconds a piece. It's gonna move a little quicker. 30 seconds to go. Work those abs. Breathe. Exhale on the exertion when you're crunching across. Last 15 seconds. Woo. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come up off the floor. Can you stand up without using your hands? Maybe you hold them up and stand up. All right, grab a quick drink. 45 seconds each movement. Okay, it's less time, so I want you to try for more intensity if you can do it. Two steps right, two jumps or reaches in five, four, three, two, go. Two steps, two reaches or jump. Good. Can you pick up the pace a little bit? Maybe, but stay in control of your body. You're halfway. 20 seconds to go. Woo. Stay with me. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop, hand weights up, dead row, 
Set it up, nice posture in five, four, three, two, and begin. We go to the knees, back, knees, stand up. Now give your glutes a little squeeze when you stand up. So you really focus on the back side and down the back of the legs. This is another compound movement for arms and legs and abs. Nice functional total body movement. 15 seconds. Hup. Squeeze. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Weights down. Okay, back to cardio. 45 seconds. Two back lunges. Two cross punches. In five, four, three, two, begin. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Low, low, high, high. Good job. Now, if you need to modify those lunges, you're going to stay up and you're maybe move it quicker. Woo. You have 20 seconds to go for our 45. Back, back, punch, punch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, pick those weights back up. We have the clean press with your variation options. Weights are up, get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Begin, press, 45 seconds. Good job, we're hitting those muscles again while they're fatigued, creating overload, getting a nice, technical connection in the muscles, focusing on our breathing, a good training effect for the entire body. Woo. 15 seconds, guys. Up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Weights down. Okay, plank variation, 45 seconds, you choose. I'm gonna go back to the mountain climber this time. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up this pace for 45 seconds, but I'm gonna try it for a little bit, and then I'm gonna slow it down. Do what you can, maybe that spinal balance is better, or hold a plank for 45. 20 seconds to go. Woo! 15. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stop. Oh, that was hard. Okay, crab kicks. Add your variation. 45 seconds. Into position. Five, four, three, two, go. Now I'm sitting on my seat this time and just reaching across. I'm leaning back a little bit so I really feel my abs working. I'm getting a nice twist. This is hard. It seems like it's the easy variation, but I'm still really working, really feeling that core. 20 seconds to go. Hey guys, after this exercise, we only have 30 seconds a piece for each of our six exercises. Three more minutes of work after this. Woo. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, try to stand up, maybe without using your hands. 
I'm going to use my other leg to stand up this time. Grab a drink. Okay, 30 seconds apiece. We can do it. We're down at the bottom of the pyramid, finishing that workout. It's amazing how the second 30 seconds feels as compared to that first 30 seconds we did, right? Okay, two steps to the right, two reaches or two jumps. In five, four, three, two, go. Good job. Now, just a reminder, if you signed on late, I have a training client right after class. So I won't have time to get a debriefing, but be sure that you let me know how your workout was today. Send me a little text or an email. Let me know how you work today. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Weights are up. Dead row. 30 seconds only. Get ready and get set. In five, four, three, to begin, knees, pull, knees, stand. Try not to sacrifice form for speed. You might only get maybe eight repetitions in this 30 seconds. That's okay, they're eight perfect ones. 10 seconds to go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Weights are down. 30 seconds, two lunges back, two punches across. Set it up. Four, three, two, go. Lunge, lunge, punch, punch. 30 seconds. Powerful bodies here. Strong can defeat any adversary that's in your life today, whatever it is, we're strong enough to beat it. 10 seconds to go. Woo. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pick up your weights, clean and press. 30 seconds only. Get ready, set it up in five. Four, three, two, go. Squat, push, release. Now, if your shoulder's starting to bother you, take that overhead press out of the picture. This is good. You're still working arms, legs, and core. Woo. 15 seconds left on this puppy. Finish nice and strong. Last eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Weights are down. Time to work our plank challenge. Whatever you can do for 30 seconds. Get down on your mat, get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, begin. I'm gonna hold steady. 30 seconds really strong from my hands and from my toes. Take the one that works best for you guys. We're almost done with this workout. Woo. Breathing. Almost there. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll over. Last set of your crab kick variations. Almost finished with this workout. All right, get ready. Five, four, three, two, go. We're gonna move right into a quick stretch after this. If you need more stretching after I sign off from class, please do that on your own today if you have the time. Good job, good job. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent. All right, have a seat. Straighten your legs out. Bend your knees a little bit. 
Reach towards your toes, take a nice stretch here. Let that heart rate come down. You guys did amazing today. Whew. That was an intense workout. You know, I'm just always so surprised at how fast it goes. It's really amazing. All right, rise up, bring the soles of your feet together, take a little butterfly stretch through the middle, get those inner thighs, lower back, a little bit of your hips. Speaking of hips, I hope everybody's hips felt great after your yesterday's yoga class. If you missed it, it's on YouTube, Lisa Bug Hips and Hearts. Lots of stretching in that class. All right, let's come up onto your feet. We're going to take the right leg, cross it behind the left, take a nice side stretch over. Getting your lats. A little bit of your IT band and medial glute. And then reach it up and switch. Left ankle crosses behind your right. Stretch it over. I hope you really enjoyed your workout today. Just another reminder, no classes next week. And no cardio class on March 25th. So jot that down on your calendar. And come up, interlace your hands behind your back, take a nice stretch for your chest, lift your heart up a little bit, open up the fronts of your shoulders. And then release those arms, take a nice stretch, inhale. Exhale and swan dive down into a forward bend, let your head dangle, your shoulders, your lower back, your hamstrings stretch. Two more breaths here. And then roll up slowly, curving your spine, restacking every bone of your vertebrae. Your head comes up last. Finish with one more breath. Inhale. And then bring your palms right down in front of your heart and clap them together for a great job today. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Have a super weekend. And I'll see you on Tuesday, the following week after next. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.